I'm truly passionate in um, speaking to these kids and, and, and letting them know that uh, they will f face adversity in their lives. It's not about avoiding adversity. Um, it, it's about overcoming it and how you do uh, overcome these things to, to, to go back and, and, and feel like you've accomplished something. The letter says, strongly suggestive of osteogenic sarcoma. Osteogenic sarcoma, what the heck is that? And I Googled it, I typed it in the Google machine, right? Typed in osteogenic sarcoma, and I saw this guy. Do you guys know who this guy is? Yeah. yeah, Terry Fox. I was diagnosed with the same disease that Terry Fox had. I was 20 years old, I was two weeks away from finally accomplishing that goal. I have osteogenic sarcoma, the same disease Terry Fox had. I've used that, uh, that experience to um, speak to kids about uh, overcoming some challenges in their lives. And one of the main things I, I really like to, to speak about is it's not, it doesn't have to be that large of a challenge. It doesn't have to be a, a cancer in your family. It doesn't have to be um, you know, a huge piece of adversity in your life. We all face uh, different types of adversity. One of the things I, I talk about is, is turning your passion into action. And um, I look at myself and I literally turned my passion into action. My passion was, was lacrosse at one point. And um, I turned that into a university degree. I turned it into a world championship. Um, and, and now my passion is sharing my story. But my mom gave me this book as soon as I was diagnosed she gave me this book and you can't see it in this picture that table that's right next to my bed it was always sitting there the entire time the little blue book looked like this and inside the book she wanted me to write a diary if you guys are familiar with Terry Fox's story he wrote a diary every day it's an unbelievable thing to read I couldn't get myself to do it so what I did with this book and I still have it I wrote my goals in it inside that book I wrote I will never for one day walk with a cane, ever. That's what it says. I will never for one day walk with a cane, ever. The second thing I wrote down, he said I would never play lacrosse again. Very simply, I wrote, I will play lacrosse again. And I shut the book and I put it next to me and I, I, I was looking at my brother and I could see him picture me with no hair. I opened the book back up and I wrote, I will not lose my hair. I lost my hair right away. I said, it's working, right? The chemotherapy is working. It's supposed to kill my hair. Hopefully, it's killing the cancer as well. I challenge them to uh, to set some goals and think about some of the challenges that they may have to overcome uh, in, in their lives. My brother called back, and he said, "Call the coach from Team Canada. Your goal is not just to play lacrosse; it's to play for Team Canada. Call him. Let him know that you're playing." And I said, "Hey, coach, it's Kyle. I know where you live." We weren't going to kidnap the guy, don't worry. I just wanted him to listen to the message. And what Kevin did, he map quested from Coach's, uh, Coach's house to Shokoff Stadium. And the message went like this, I said, hey Coach, it's Kyle, I know where you live. You have to leave your house at eight o'clock in the morning. I will leave you four tickets, you can park there. I have to prove to you I'm good enough to play for your team. You have to come down and watch you play. There's nothing else I could do. I left this message, what else was I to do? And the game goes by, we beat Princeton. One of the biggest celebrations I've ever been a part of. We run into the locker room to celebrate, and the coach from Cornell comes up to me. His name's Jeff Tambroni. Jeff Tambroni taps me on the shoulder. He says, Kyle, there's somebody at the locker room door for you. So I went to the door, I opened up the door, and it's Coach Nielsen. I said, hey, coach, you got my message. And he said, yeah, Kyle, it was kind of creepy. <laughs> But he puts his hand out, you're now a member of Team Canada. I said, coach, I'm so excited. I've worked so hard to finally accomplish this goal. I just want to jump on you and hug you and kiss you. I'm so excited. He jumps back like this. He's a great role model for everybody because he, did a, he followed his dreams and his goals. He didn't give up on them even though he had cancer. It was very, very inspiring. I feel pretty um, thankful to him because he showed that if you keep trying, you'll always make it. That it's always good to believe. No matter what happens, you can always achieve it. Pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. 2006 World Lacrosse Championship. We went out to play these guys. I brought you guys a clip. This is how the game ended. Possession perhaps for the Americans. The shot, the save by Miller. And that should do it. Team Canada have won 
the world title, dethroning Team USA. 28 years the Canadians have been waiting for this. 28 long years since Dan Pocketon scored the goal in Stockport, England. <laughs> Find someone who's accomplished what you want to accomplish. Find someone who's overcome what you want to overcome. For me, I'll tell you how I use this inspiration. I thought about Terry every single day. I didn't want to get out of bed. My leg was sore. I was sick from my chemotherapy. I looked at this picture, and this guy ran a marathon a day. I just wanted to get out of bed. I just wanted to play lacrosse. So I used him and I said, if this guy can do it, his life was much worse than mine, I'm gonna be able to accomplish it. We're gonna send a little message out to Kyle. It's gonna be really simple. Go Kyle, go. Because he's gonna need lots and lots of help. Lots and lots of good messages to get him through his battle. So today we're going to show our support for Kyle and everyone else who's been affected by cancer at one point in their life. Ready? One, two, three. Kids Can Day is a, uh, an opportunity for kids in the community to meet the athletes of, uh, of the different sports and, and come in and learn that sport. For these kids to get that opportunity you know, and, and learn a new sport kind of opened their eyes to, uh, to what else is out there. <laughs> 